This alley in downtown Wilbur is an unlikely spot for a 16 year old to experience a life altering moment. But this is where it happened around 1 a.m. on a Wednesday for Xander Baker, and it all started with a game of hide and seek. His chosen hiding spot, a platform with transformers and power lines. It was working out until he was spotted. I go to stand up to get down because I thought I was seen, and I was immediately knocked out from the shock of the, the wire that was right above my right shoulder. Everything changed in a split second. It all happened so sudden. It was, I didn't realize it happened even after I was partially unconscious. I didn't know why, why everybody was yelling at me. Fresh on the scene, his parents Brian and Carrie were telling him not to move to avoid falling off or falling back into a power line carrying more than 4,000 volts of electricity. Brian is a former electrical technician and knew the seriousness of his son's electrocution. It's basically like unlimited amps going through your body and it like 50 milliamps can stop your heart and we're talking hundreds and hundreds of amps at that high voltage so it's a miracle <laughs> i mean emergency personnel got xander down and into a helicopter for a life flight to the chi saint elizabeth burn unit in lincoln okay so that's uh my shoulder more than two weeks later, Xander is slowly on the mend. He has third degree burns in six places, can't lift his right arm and has trouble moving his left foot. But his parents say he's kept a positive attitude. It makes you really proud. <laughs> yeah, he's so tough. I don't know many people that can really endure the pain that he goes through. Xander knows where he finds his drive. An accomplished wrestler, his goal is to hit the mat before the end of the winter season. Um, really excited. I um, wanted to take some people down and I'm ready to wrestle. The frequent visits from friends and coaches and fundraisers organized by the Wilbur community help out too. We just all know each other and we all care for each other. It's been a really, really good feeling to know that, oh, people do care about us and Xander and, you know, his classmates and stuff have just really tried to help make him feel better. And He's here. Now Xander's focus is on the daunting recovery process and spreading a message of safety. Do not make dumb decisions. You need to really think before you make really dumb decisions like climbing power lines. The Bakers credit excellent care by the St. Elizabeth staff for some of Xander's impressive recovery after touching the power line. Soon he expects to get shark skin grafts to cover his wounds and then advance to skin grafts. Xander hopes to move to Madonna Rehabilitation Hospital in three to four weeks. In Wilbur, Michael Shively, News Channel, Nebraska.